Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Dr. Kamran and I am working as an assistant professor in Noshera Medical College. Today we will discuss the Mental Health Day. The theme announced is the mental health in an unequal world. This theme focuses on that the wealthy people are becoming more wealthier while the poor people are becoming more poorer. In 2020, the highlighted inequalities were due to racism, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, and lack of respect for the human rights. These inequality have a great impact on the people's mental health. In 2021, it focuses on the access to mental health services remains unequal. On one hand, the low and middle economic countries, about 75 to 95% of people have no access to mental health services. While on the other hand, the rich countries have access to mental health services, but they are not much better because there is lack of investment in the mental health services as compared to other health services. There are many people suffering from mental health disorders, but most of them do not receive the treatment they, they, for, their, for which they are entitled or they deserve it. Together, their families and carers experience stigma and discrimination. This stigma and discrimination not only affect their physical and mental health, but this stigma affect, have a great impact on their educational opportunities, uh, their current and future earning and job prospects. Therefore, we need to address these inequalities. We should not allow these inequalities to continue. Now, people suffering from physical illness, they also have psychological distress. For example, visual impairment. About 2.2 billion people are suffering from visual impairment worldwide. Most of them, majority of these people experience anxiety and depression, which worsen these visual impaired people. And this have a great impact on their social and economic uh, life. In the end, I will talk about the COVID-19 pandemic. Again, there is inequality. The rich people were well prepared for the pandemic. However, this pandemic will continue to affect each and every person of all ages in different ways like infection and illness, sometimes bereavement, economic impact, loss of jobs, insecurity and social isolation. Therefore, this is our duty and obligation that we should support our civil societies and encourage research in this area. Thank you very much.